presented by Data East. ミネソタファッツ1913年にニューヨークで生まれ本名はルドルフ・ウォルター・ワンドロン・ジュニア日本でその名を知る人は少ないしかしアメリカではプールの歴史の中で最も知られたハスラーなのである1940年代50年代の彼は負け知らずでプールハスラーとしてだけでなくトランプの名人駆け引きの天才そしてまた相当なギャンブラーとして全米中にその名を轟かせていた元々ブルックリン・ファッツニューヨーク・ファッツなどと呼ばれていた彼であったが1960年初期に映画「ハスラー」が公開されたのを機に彼はこのニックネームを変えることになるこの映画の主人公ファースト・エディのライバルにミネソタ・ファッツが登場するそうこのファッツこそが彼をモデルにした人物なのであるハスラーがヒットを収めてから彼は自分のことをミネソタ・ファッツと称するようになったこの頃からプールの主要なサイドショーでミネソタ・ファッツは世界中にその名を知られるようになるさらに彼はテレビ番組のホストまで務めるようにもなりそのプールへの貢献を称えられアメリカ栄誉の伝統「ホール・オブ・フェイム」に名を連ねるまでになったミネソタパッツ彼こそが世界でただ一人の偉大なる伝説のハスラーなのであるグリーディングズ・レディーズ・ンジェネラル・ペイポーワーカムトゥ・サイド・パーケット・トゥ・レジェンド・オブ・ザ・ハスラー I am your host, Minute Roya Fats, guaranteed to duck up your game in less than a minute. What you just saw was a bio about Rudolph w a n d e r o n Jr., Minnesota Fats, and his history in pool. If you know this game in the US, you know it better as Minnesota Fats Pool Legend. This is the Saturn version of the game, which has a very completely different template and story. In fact, we're going to be listening to the cutscenes. Let's play. そして今の地位を得たってわけだ。<笑>みんなからは伝説のハスラーなんて呼ばれてなああそれがどうかしたのかそれでなわしが伝説のハスラーと呼ばれる以前にビッグジーってやつがいてな随分と汚い手を使って荒らし回ってたんだ全く腹の立つチキン野郎だったよもちろんわしが軽く叩き潰してそいつの金全部を巻き上げてやっただが最近そのチキン野郎がまたこの世界を荒らし回ってるらしいそれもファミリーを作ってなデファッツ一体何が言いたいんだジュニアあんまり調子に乗るなよとにかくだわしの手であのチキン野郎を叩き潰してやりたいんだが見ての通りもう年だそこでお前の出番というわけだお前の腕前はよく知ってるつもりだわしが一から仕込んだんだからなお前にビッグジーのやつを二度と球が持てんように叩き潰してほしいまったくあんたはいつもこれだしょうがねえ分かったよやってやるよ話はこれで終わりだろじゃあな悪いけど用があるのでまたなフレッドファッツ大
変だフレッドを脅かすなよパッツ見ろよジュニアのやつやりやがったジュニアがビッグ G と手を組むとは信じられん情けないなんとかジュニアを止めなければパッツ月は確かか今のお前ではビッグ G にはかなわないぞ分かってるぞだがな自分の巻いた金ぐらいは自分でつまんとなハスラーが玉を突くのは勝負の緊張感が好きだからそんなことも忘れて金にばかり目がくらみよってビッグジーと手を組み上がったあのバカジュニアを早いとこ連れ戻して目を覚ましてやらねばならんルースを頼んだぞフレンドビッグジを追ってんのかまあんたが私に勝てたら協力してあげなくもないよあんた金持ってんだろうねじゃあ来なよ So for those of you that do not understand a thing of Japanese here is the plot in full Minnesota Fats is played by Joe Gadano and his son in this series Junior is played by J.S. Gilbert In this story, Junior and Fats basically talk for a bit. They discuss issues regarding Big G hustling everybody out of their money. He sends Junior to go and deal with it. What ends up happening, however, is that Junior ends up joining Big G's syndicate, and now it's up to Fats to go all the way around and collect $10 million hustling everybody out of their pool halls. <laughs> One of the best adventures you could think of for a pool game. Unlike the story mode slash arcade mode that is in the Genesis version, this one only features 8-ball. You will not be playing 9-ball or anything else until you get to the tournaments and the versus modes. And you'll be enjoying those, trust me. Very, very great. Much faster than in the Genesis commentary by comparison. You might have noticed, however, that we're duking it out with Tina. A good old friend of Fats and, I guess, a mini rival of sorts? <laughs> I kind of consider her to be one of Fats' prodigies in this series. She is portrayed by Rachel Fife. You might know her better if you played the Genesis version as Dixie Wilson. I do not understand to this day why there was such a name change. But, you know, it works. It, it's a fair name change, and provided the fact that, you know, the character of Tina is still kind of a young prodigy that still needs to learn from the best. I mean, look at Fats here doing a jump shot. <laughs> you can tell she's got a long way to go. A very, very long way to go. And just like in the Genesis version, you have to call your shot when the 8-ball comes up, pocket it in which pocket you can get your hands on, and boom, that is the end of the round. ビッグ G とジュニアとで豪華な場をいくつも開いたのさそして金持ちから巻き上げてんのさほら久しぶりだな覚えてるか私を私だよダイヤモンドだビッグ G のプールバーに何かいようか私かご覧の通りビッグ G と組んで大儲けってわけさ
もうお前の知ってるダイヤモンドではないってことだ私は私のやり方で一流に持ち上がってきたわかるかこれがその証拠だせっかくお前に会えたんだ勝負せんうちにはどこにも行かせんからな私はミネソタバッツを倒し金と名誉を手にすることを夢見てきたお前を倒すことができれば私の名前は一層輝くってもんださあお手合わせねえぞ So those of you that have been looking at this might notice there's a betting system. The betting system in this game is based on a round-based system. So what does this mean? Basically, you have a specific amount of money that you bet on regularly per game. So long as that bet is in play, you keep playing until your opponent is out of money. To my knowledge, there's no way to modify it. So you just have to keep going and going until your opponent is out of money. And that is what we're going to do with Mr. Diamond here. Diamond is an old pal, an old friend of Fats, but somebody who has also had a personal hatred for him because of how well he plays. I mean, I mean, I could understand why there is jealousy here. I mean, heck, in my time, not just as a pool player, but also as a gamer and other things, you know, I've also had my own fair share of rivalries. But I don't think that those rivalries will ever be as ridiculous as how Jerry Seinfeld and Newman have had in the fictionalized version of Seinfeld. Ugh. Wayne Knight as Newman, I, I don't think anybody else could have played the role better. But it's never explained what has happened、um, regarding the bond that Seinfeld and Newman have. Like, is it, is it ever determined what Seinfeld and Newman,、um, it, why they have that rivalry of theirs? Why they're always at, at each other's throats? Like, hello, Newman. Hello, Jerry. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, uh, I, I can't be Wayne Knight. I apologize. I apologize if Wayne Knight ever watches this commentary and ever has to hear that vocal cue. <laughs> But we've got a side pocket to Legend of the Hustler commentary going on here, and unfortunately I'm kind of restricted for time because cutscenes. But,、um, you know, let me talk about the, you know, the graphical quality of the game. Let me talk about the coding. Because. This game graphically looks significantly better than the Genesis version by comparison. Well, then again, it's on a Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn is a 32 bit console. It only makes sense that they would take full advantage of the multicolored sprites and tables and designs and whatnot. And, you know, even they ha even have a little bit of 3D for the little,、um, for the little ball cue. And, oh, he, oh, Diamond committed foul. Yeah, foul still applies in this game. And by the way, there is actually something much more notable once we get to the,、uh, the challenge patch mode. You're going to enjoy that. But you can actually pocket the eight ball on the break, and it's an automatic win. <laughs> you, you will see how that works. It's not easy to pull off, but if you, if you know how to do it just right, you'll always get it every single time. But as for the coding of the Saturn version of Side Pocket 2, one of the hardest things that people will probably not notice right off the bat is that this game is bug fixed. This game is heavily bug fixed as opposed to the Genesis version. I feel that the physics are much more optimized in this port or update to the series as opposed to the way that the Genesis version was handled. The Genesis version was as good as it got for Side Pocket over in the US on a 16 bit console. But when, the Saturn, when this Saturn version came out, you know, I just feel that the physics are better, jumping physics are better, curving has actually been heavily modified to accommodate for how powerful you shoot as opposed to the way that it was handled in the Genesis version. So, using a Masse shot is not the same as it would have been in any, other, in any other title. Heck, not even Voice Idol Maniac's Pool Bar story has the physics down on par as how this version does. 
Oh, and we're about to go into the final round and have Minnesota Fats gain $2 million. Yep, he'll be $2 million richer and Diamond will be out of a job. <laughs> yeah, um, bear in mind, in this story mode, it's never explained, but to my knowledge, um, this is all the money that they get. All the money that Minnesota Fats is hustling from everybody, that's their that's everybody's life savings. He's having everybody go broke from losing in a game of pool. Of them. <laughs> and this is kind of one of the reasons why me personally I would never play pool for money unless if it were like just like some general tournament. If it were a general tournament where, you know, you get a prize payment. You know, that that's okay. But if you're just casually um, betting against somebody in a regular pool hall, you know, that, that's not that's not how I play. That's not how I play. I don't want to gamble away anybody's life savings or whatever, you know? I mean, these are real people. You don't want to do that to them. That'd be a hard time. That'd be a sad time. By the way, um, I love the music in this game. The majority of this music um, is not done by a CD. Actually, if you were playing on an actual Saturn, I'm playing this through Bizhawk, you would notice that the uh, that the audio, um, a lot of the CD vocal cues are not available um, if you're playing on Bizhawk through the Yabayus core. This is Yabayus version 9.12, if my memory serves correctly. Uh, shout out to those at Task Videos for making this emulator, even though it's still not optimized. Oh, and I'll explain more on that once we get to the tournament mode. But the audio here is done via the main... Uh, the music is done via the main sound chip, and even though it kind of sounds mid-eye-esque, and I think it is mid-eye, it's pretty good for what it's worth. I'd like to hear remixes of these sometime. Nobody's remixed them. Not at all. <laughs> but I'll get a bit more into the technical details of this game once we get past this cutscene. So enjoy. ファーサイカラズチオイナ。私は ジュニアのやつも多分一緒だ。彼をファミリーの一員に持てて、それはもう嬉しい限りだよ。我々はこの道で金を稼ぎ、その金でこの世界を牛耳るのだよ。あなたにはぜひ私のファミリーに入ってもらいたい。そう嫌な顔をしな
that's not what I was about to mention. The cutscenes in this, assuming you're playing on BizHawk, BizHawk has a weird way with the way that it renders 3D and also the way that it renders um, cutscenes. So cutscenes may look corrupted. And unfortunately, that's not an easy task to deal with. I don't understand the flaws behind this. I'm assuming it's a it's a flaw with the Yabayus core. Um, it's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of wish that um, that uh, the folks at Bizhawk could find a way to use SSF as opposed to Biz I mean, as opposed to uh, Yabayus uh, for the Saturn core, or make their own Saturn Hawk. But you know, I'm not going to rush them. I know that they're probably heavily busy at work trying to optimize the Saturn core. We don't know when they'll be done with it, but, you know, wishfully it'll be done in a timely manner, because... Man, oh man, oh man. Is it... Was it a chore trying to deal with this game? Was it a chore trying to deal with this game? Um... Because, uh, those of you that might also not know, um... BizHawk also suffers from desyncing issues. I actually had to record this game twice. The first time I did uh, did it in a full set. This time, the way you're seeing it now, this is part of a segmented playthrough. The story mode itself is done in a single segment. But when I did when I did the game originally, it was like five hours and five minutes worth of input footage. But by the time I got to Minnesota Fats Junior, when I by the time I got to the junior match, it ended up desyncing so badly that I had to record the game all over again. Combined, I would, I want to say, these two games took 24 full hours of recording time. The Saturn, I mean, not the Saturn, but the first playthrough took about 7 to 8 hours non-stop. And the, and the second recording took, I want to say, um, I want to say at least... Maybe about 14 to 16 hours segmented across a matter of months because I, I just got so tired of this game I didn't want to have to redo it. But hey, I said I was gonna do both the Genesis and the Saturn version of this game. I promised it, and that's what you got here. You got both versions of the game in their lovely glory. But I do hope that one day, um, the Saturn core, uh, whether they continue using Yabius, whether they switch to SSF, or if they, or if the folks at BizHawk decide to make, um, uh, decide to make Saturn Hawk. Like, like, just a, just a unique, um, Saturn emulator that doesn't run on Yabius or anything else. You, you know, that would, that would be, that would be lovely. I would love to see that at some point. And wishfully, you know, if that does come to be, I will gladly remaster this commentary using the new footage because it's again it's not easy trying to get um, trying to get the Japanese Saturn version to run. The reason why I'm doing the Japanese Saturn version as opposed to the U.S. Saturn version is actually more or less because of the fact that I don't have an easy way to play the um, the Saturn ver the U.S. version. More or less because of the fact that BizHawk doesn't doesn't um, recognize it as a Saturn ISO image. I think it's like a very weird file format, like MDS um, or something similar to that. This the Japanese version is a CCD file, meaning that uh, well, I'm actually unsure about these file formats. To be truthful with you, I'm not familiar with MDS and MFS. I'm not familiar with CCD and CXD or whatever the uh, the Q format is for CCD. This is all new territory to me. This is all new territory to me, so you know, it's going to take some time for me to get used to it, but, you know, I'll get used to it. It's not that much of a burden. It's not a burden at all. I love getting to learn about these different uh, video formats and games and whatnot, and, oh, that's a classic fat shot. <laughs> yep, I know how to play pool. After all, I'm Minute Roya Fats. I just ducked up your game in less than a minute. And now time to see Richard Conti flip out.
それだけの腕葬り去るには実に惜しいどうだねやはり私と手を組まないか私ならその腕を生かせるんだがね嫌だと俺がここまで頼んでやってんのにそれがてめえの返事かよこの豪勢なバーまでくれてやってんのによこのボケた老いぼれが分かった勘弁してくれちょいと熱くなっただけだ銃も欲しけりゃやるよ何銃にはどこだってあああいつならしばらくアトランティックのバーに行かせてるぜまあおそらくあいつが俺以上に稼いでるだろうがなおいハッツいやハッツさん待ってくれせめてバッシンぐらい面倒見てくれよたまげたもんだここには絶対来れないと思ってたんだがなそうだろうきっちりつけば金が転がり込むってな確かあんたが教えてくれたんだったよな見ろよパッツ俺はもう昔のジュニアじゃないんだぞ誰が見たって一流のハスラーだ嘘だと思うんなら試してみるかもし俺が勝ったらあんた一文なしだ一人で歩いて帰んな俺を好きにさせてもらおうぜあんたが勝てばお望み通り帰ってやるよいいな
Falcons. I always get them mixed up. Always. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I digress. Um, just a good time. This is a good time for all. And hey, we're at the end of the game. <laughs> at the end of the game. So we got $10 million, or is it 100 million? Oh, well, that's it. Cutscene. すげえいいゲームだったぜ。もうただのおいぼれだと思ってんだ。何のため一に練習、二に練習ってな。お前ならわかるだろうな。ああ、さ、約束だ。帰ってやるよ。いや、ジニア、せっかくここまで来たんだ